this whole idea of being selfless and giving all this effort to the world but not taking care of the self, you're not as good a servant like that. So you have to take care of the self. The world knows Russell Simmons as the godfather of hip hop. But as an entrepreneur, author, and activist, he's also become a leading voice speaking out about what it means to lead a truly meaningful life. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had fanatic energy. My nickname was the same as it is today, it's Rush. I mean, I was Rush because I was really literally Rush. like to say there was one turning point. I wouldn't say one. There were many. I used every drug on the planet. I had a lot of fun with them, but at 30, which is 28 years ago, I, I went sober. And then over 20 years ago, I started to practice yoga. That was a very big turning point. The only success I could have is to be more still. All your effort is as soon as I get this, right? This is the effort. As soon as I get this, I'll be at ease. When this next thing happens, I'll be at ease. You know, if your mind is always somewhere else, you, you never see anything. Everything you do, whether you know it or not, is meant to quiet the mind. Whether you drink, whether you work out, whether you meditate, all meant to quiet the mind because when the noise is gone, the mind is fully happy and at a blissful state. I get up, I light a candle, I meditate to slow the world down, you know, and the stillness in the mind is where bliss arises. It's been almost 20 years since I've been a vegan. Because so many friends were sick and dying by ingesting animal product, I wrote a book called The Happy Vegan. It's really a, a guide how we can make an affordable transition to a plant-based diet. If you eat something that fuels your body, that lifts you up, then obviously you're in a better shape to, to serve. And you can't serve the world unless you take care of yourself. So you should always take care of self. Lately, cryotherapy, almost every day I go freeze. You know, you go in a chamber, minus 250 degrees, and it kind of awakens the brain. It, it fights inflammation. It promotes a lot of circulation. It's a mood enhancer. It cleanses your liver. What happens is all your blood races to your heart. I mean, like, um, immediately. And then it just cleanses so much, you know, of, of what's going on inside your body. And you stay in there for two minutes and you come out and it's like, your whole body feels rejuvenated. It just opens you up, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You should try it. Being present and working always makes you more successful because you can never be creative in the future or the past, only in the present. And I go to work every day, and maybe the companies grow, and maybe they don't, but you do the best you can at them. So enjoying the work, enjoying the effort, and, and you know, what you're giving the world is really what you have to focus on. What the world gives you back in return for your effort is second. In fact, it could even be uh, viewed as not important at all.